Well, hello, and welcome back to So You Want to Play Magic. This week, we're going to look at the basics of the mana curve in a 60-card deck. There are a variety of formats that use a 60-card threshold, including Standard, Pioneer, Modern, Legacy, and Vintage. And in this episode, we're going to talk about the kind of players that we are and how that influences our deck-building choices. I am an aggressive player. I like to flood the battlefield with small creatures and use instant sorcery and enchantment spells to either increase the power of my attacking creatures or to add additional damage each time I attack. The best example of an aggro deck that I'm using right now is a modified mono-red cavalcade build. The deck consists of a number of one-power creatures, including Grim Initiate, Scorch Spitter, Fervent Champion, and Ten Street Dodger with the enchantment Cavalcade of Calamity, which deals an extra point of damage every time a one-power creature attacks. The drawback to the deck is it tends to run out of gas in the late game, so I've modified it to include two Perforos Bronze Blooded and two Dracoseth Maw of Flames, which can be played for three mana using Perforos' mana ability. Because it is a monocolored deck with low costed spells, I tend to get away with 23 lands. This allows me to add in targeted removal like Shock and Scorching Dragonfire. I also run two copies of Claim the Firstborn, which can help it turn an opponent's blocker into my attacker. The mana curve for the deck looks like this. You can see the vast majority of the spells in this deck cost only one mana to cast. This allows me to set up a board with a ton of creatures on it before my opponent can get their thing going. I like to play slower, more controlling decks that take advantage of the early game and take over with big spells in the late game. My favorite deck right now is a deck called Unsummon the Crisis, key cards being Unsummon and Hydroid Crisis. What I try to do is answer early threats while also playing some myself. In the late game, I play Hydroid Crisis, X equal to 8 or something, and attack for lethal. The mana curve for this deck looks a lot different. As you can see, the majority of these spells are at the 2 minute slot, which allows me to take it's over with some small it's spells. It's then, when it's I have it's enough it's mana, I can play my big spells at 3 and 4, and my Hydroid Crisis, which is technically 2 mana, because it has an X cost. Whether you want to play fast or slowly, it's important to have spells with a variety of casting costs. A massive beast left sitting in your hand because you had no way of defending your life points is a very frustrating way to lose the game. We hope you enjoyed hearing about our favorite decks. Let us know what you like to play in the comments, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.